everyone it's amy and welcome back to my channel and the first empties video of 2020 and some might say a particularly exciting empties video because it's my first no buy year empties you guys know if you have seen any of my no buy videos so far from this year that my main goal is to use up the junk that I already have. So now that I have that focus and I also have my project pan going on, which I'll link down below if you haven't seen that, it's really helping me to use up a lot more stuff. And the whole process of using stuff up has become a lot more exciting for me. I never thought I'd be this excited about trash but I'm very excited about this. The empties bag is absolutely bulging this time. We have so much stuff to get through, but before we jump in, please just go ahead and take a second to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Maybe grab a drink today, cause like I said, lots of stuff, lots of junk, lots of rubbish to get through. But uh, yeah, without any further ado, let me show you my trash okay so we are going to be mixing things up just a little bit if you've ever watched one of my previous empties videos then this is going to take a slightly different format since my goal for 2020 is to focus on using up as many of my cosmetics and beauty products as possible and to get my stash under control i'm going to start each one of these new empties videos with like an overview of how much stuff i've actually used up and then I'm gonna go into the review section of the video, but because some of the things that I've used up have been tested on animals, because I bought them prior to going cruelty free and just never got around to using them up until now, I'm not gonna be including those in the review part. I just don't wanna give those products airtime. With that said, let's just jump in. So right now, you are going to be seeing, by the magic of editing, a pan over of all of the stuff that I have used up so far in 2020. So a little over a month into the year. And I haven't been like excessively using products and like slathering myself in creams and lotions to get through more products more quickly. It's just that I had so much stuff that was like partially used, that I had like little bits here and there. And so my strategy going into this 2020 no buy was to focus on the items that had the least amount of product left in them so I could use those up more quickly and get through them and get the junk out of my house. Except not really, because I've just been hanging onto it under my bed like a weirdo. Let's finally talk about these empties, okay? Because that's what we're all here for. I've rambled enough. The first one, such a love of mine, such a great product. This is the Coco and Eve Like a Virgin hair mask. I did a whole dedicated video reviewing this hair mask the first ever time I tried it, and it really does work. I mean, the results that you get are very noticeable, they're instant, and that's what I like in my beauty products. I don't wanna hang around and have to use it for weeks and weeks to kind of get the results I want. I want it to be like, hey, an hour later, I am transformed. And that's the kind of result that you get with this hair mask. So this one is finished. I did have a backup waiting in my enormous beauty stash. So I'm working my way through that one now, but when that one's done, I'm going to be repurchasing because this is a product that I feel like does bring me immense joy. If Marie Kondo came and asked, I could happily tell her this brings me joy. Next, ooh, okay, something a little bit new for my MDs videos because I've never done this before, but I wanted to add in the candles that I've used up. I don't know, I just feel like since I've been on this no buy year and I've been more aware of the stuff I own, it's just made me want to use up not just my beauty products, but also everything else that I've been holding and have too much of. And that definitely includes candles. So I will say that I haven't burned two full Bath & Body Works candles in the last six, six weeks. Um, they were almost burned up, each of them. So I finished them off. This is the Waikiki Beach Coconut. I love the smell of coconut. This smells like being on holiday. It smells like being at a fancy hotel near the beach. Like as if I'm about to go on a spa day and like sit and hear the waves lapping. Oh my gosh. I wish that was my life right now. 
alas. This one is Marshmallow Fireside and Abida actually gave this one to me because she couldn't stand the smell of it. I didn't think it was bad. I don't know that it's necessarily one that I would reach for again and repurchase, but I mean, I burned it. It's definitely more of an autumnal winter scent and it smells a little bit like burned marshmallows. So I found it to be okay, but like I said, I wouldn't rush out and repurchase this one. Okay, next let's talk about, okay, let's talk about a face cream. This grimy looking well used jar once contained the Boots Botanics Oh, I can't even see, it's so gross. I have to like peel the grime off to see the label. What is, I'm so gross. It's the All Bright with Hibiscus Hydrating Day Cream with SPF 15. And I mean, it was fine. The reason that I gravitated towards this one is because firstly, all of Boots' own products are cruelty free. And secondly, it has that SPF 15, but the UVA rating is five star. So I've talked about this before, I think, but sun cream or anything that's like supposed to protect you from the sun has two different rating systems. It has the UVA rating, which you'll usually find on the back, and it's out of five stars. And then the UVB number is the number that we're all most used to seeing, which is the SPF 15, SPF 20, all of that kind of thing. But you really do need a strong UVA and strong UVB to get ultimate protection. And yeah, it was a pretty decent moisturizer. It did keep my skin really hydrated throughout the day without getting it greasy. It was a nice light consistency. I think I'm at a point in my life as I age and get wrinkles that I want something with more of an anti-aging element going on to really help me with the fine lines. But moving forward, I don't know, I might see if this brand has an anti-aging moisturizer once I finish using up all the other moisturizers that I have, which could be in like two years time. So by then I may have forgotten this conversation. Okay, next let's talk about something that I hate. This is the NYX with the Hype Waterproof Mascara. I don't wanna be mean, but this is the worst mascara I have ever used in my life. Different strokes for different folks, you know, maybe you use it and you like it, but I just can't with this mascara and it seemed to last forever. I just wanted it to be done and get out of my life and it wouldn't die. It is very waterproof. That is one plus point, but oh, it just makes my eyelashes look so gross. And my eyelashes need a little bit of extra help anyway because they're not particularly long, they're kind of just meh. But this made them look even shorter than they really are. It also was clumpy. It didn't give them volume or length. Like some mascaras give you volume, some mascaras give you length. This didn't give either and I <sighs> get out of my life, I don't want this. Moving on to something that I don't hate and want to throw across the room. I have my Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation and my Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. I've talked about these a bunch, so let's not dwell on this for too long. Favorite foundation of life, favorite concealer of life. Extremely creamy, very full coverage, doesn't break up, blends in beautifully. I have number F6 in the foundation, which is my perfect shade for winter months when I'm at my most Casper the Friendly Ghost-esque. And then for the concealer, I have the C3. The next empty that I have is just a little sample size, but it really impressed me. It's the Damask Rose Hand Cream by Green People. And I got this as a free gift when I ordered their eye cream a little while ago. I wasn't blown away by the eye cream, but I did really enjoy the hand cream. It's super light, it sunk in really nicely, and it really did moisturize my hands and get them feeling really nice and soft. So again, whenever I finally get through my extreme horde of hand creams that I have, and it's time to repurchase a new one, then I think I'll go for this one because it's the nicest one I've tried. Before I forget, there were three products that I used up that I don't physically have here to show you. 
Two of them were bars of soap from the brand Bubble and Fizz. I made a whole video about them quite a while ago and they are now like my favorite soaps to use. And the next thing is my Lush Jason and the Argan Oil Shampoo Bar, which I've been talking about for years. I love it. It's my favorite shampoo bar, but in the years that I've been using Jason and the Argan Oil, Lush has come out with so many new shampoo bars. So maybe the time has come when I'll branch out and try something new. The final thing that I wanna talk about from my empties bag today is not beauty related, it's not a candle, but it's something that I did just wanna to bring to your attention because maybe some of you might find it useful. This is the Batch Rescue Night. I have been using the Batch Rescue Remedy Drops for years and I recently got into using the Night Drops too. If you are someone who suffers from anxiety or if you are just a particularly stressed or highly strong person and you find it difficult to get your thoughts under control, then I cannot recommend this product enough. Daytime version and nighttime version, they're in the form of little drops. So you have a little pipette at the top and all you do is when you feel like your brain is whizzing out of control, you just take a few drops on your tongue and within a minute, I can feel myself start to calm down and feel like I'm in control of my brain again. The night drops, like I said, I only recently discovered, but they are perfect for people out there who suffer with insomnia or just struggle to get to sleep because your brain is just whirring around and you just can't get your thoughts to calm down. Just a few drops before I go to bed and I feel so relaxed and ready to sink into a good night's sleep. My favorite thing about this is it's all natural ingredients. It's made of a variety of different plant extracts. But as far as possible, I do prefer to use more natural products as opposed to anything that's prescribed for me or that it's like a drug. <sighs> We're done. Genuinely, I thought this empties video was going to be like three or four years long because the bag was so full. But like I said, I'm not gonna be walking you through the various products in there that were tested on animals. Just, I don't wanna give them the airtime. I'm not interested in those anymore. And yes, I'm using them up because I don't want them to go to waste but I don't wanna like promote them to you guys. It just wouldn't sit well with me. I feel pretty impressed with how much stuff I've been able to use up so far. And I'm excited to continue checking in with you guys to let you know how it's going with like getting my stash under control and using things up throughout the year. I'm keeping a spreadsheet because I'm such a nerd, I am, whatever. I'm keeping a spreadsheet of the various things that I use up throughout the year. So then when we get to December and the year is done, I can work out exactly how much stuff I've used up this year. And I'm gonna be totaling up the value of the products that I've used up too. So I'm really excited to find out like how much money's worth of stuff I use up in the course of a year that I didn't even buy. I just had lying around my house. Like I said, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much and I will see you all soon. Bye.